lately I came across this video on YouTube. I look in the mirror, I see an image of someone who's gone through heaven and hell But I got G-O-D by my side to the day I die and I say farewell to this evil world I sense a spirit leading me to my final destination I hope it's a ticket to heaven If not, someone explain I don't want to see Mumsy cry no more I don't want to see tears of pain I don't want to see Mumsy work so hard at the dawn of night for the smallest change A loved one, nah, I don't want to see them weep in vain Lord, take me in Look, I'll be on a level where even a devil is scared of me. I got some enemies, but it's so cool. They trying to drain all my energy. Now they're a memory. So I really like the song, especially the orchestral build up with your heart hitting trap drums afterwards. So after watching this video, I got inspired and I want to make my own beats in this genre. One that isn't very common and overused. One that isn't mainstream. So after analyzing this beat multiple times, I came across four aspects for making this style of beats. And this is the result. Five key, what you cooking? So in this video, we're gonna go through the four aspects of making this style of beats, how I made them and how you can as well. So let's go right into it. So the number one characteristic of this style of beats is we need big orchestral sounds. I'm talking choir, violin, strings, dark and deep piano, everything you need in a really big orchestra. So first I started with these simple, really simple piano chords right here. For this I use this contact bank right here, so it's the noir piano preset, it's the dark one because we're gonna go and try to make a dark beat. And I came up with these chords right here, really simple. So in general it's just the same chord progression right here, pitch down, one, two, three, four semitones and then made everything in key. That's it. Afterwards, I just took the root notes right here, copied them and pitched them down to semitones. So for the last chord progression right here, I just duplicated the same chord progression as before, but I just went up one semitone for this one right here. That's all. Great, after we got our foundation for this beat, I went in and added some strings to it. So for this, I went into contact again Use this VST right here, Session Strings 2, and I just added the root notes from the chord progression before. Okay, and to make everything more epic, I went in and added a big choir. For the choir, I went into my plugin Heat Up, went into choir, full choir right here. And I just duplicated the chord progression as before. Okay, this leads us to our second aspect of this orchestral dark trap beats. This is a fast lead for the build up. In that case, I just use an electric guitar for it. And the sound comes from Flex. It's a free VST for all FS Studio users. And it's this preset right here, Dark Star M Feedback Guitar. I just went for a note one from the chord progression before. That's it, nothing much. But this really gives us this entire build up we wanted before. Great, so now I just want to add a really deep bass to it to thicken everything up and fill up that low end. So for that I went into Analog Lab right here, choose the greedy sub bass from J Cactus and just 
copied the root notes from the chord progression before. And as you can hear the melody already sounds much fuller and much darker. But I want to add some other orchestral stuff that thickens everything up and makes it makes the build up even better. So for that we go into our third aspect of this build up trap beat, it's percussion elements such as storms, small drums, something like that. So I want to add some storms to it and I just followed the chord progression as before. For that I choose the storms right here. If you don't have any storm sound, just go into YouTube or Splice or Looperman and type in storm sounds, effects, something like that and then you will find some really good ones. So afterwards we got the storm sound right here and with the beat together this sounds like this. I just added this uh, simple percussion loop right here. For some variation for the second part right here. And now this melody really sounds a lot, a lot fuller, darker and more epic. But I want to add one more thing. And this is to fill up that space that I don't know where it comes from. When hearing this melody I feel there is some sort of space to it that I don't really want. So for that I choose some more strings slash brass sounds to it. So now the entire frequency spectrum is filled. We got bass, we got high ends, we got mid range, we got everything. So now let's go into the drop. Okay, so for the drop guys, I want to keep at least one or two sounds just to make the beat sound empty and fill up the rest of the spectrum with the deep bass. So for that, I choose at the beginning the strings, the brass sounds to fill out most of the frequency range. But I wanted to make the intro and the beat drop a bit more cohesive and therefore I used the iconic part of it by connecting two similar parts with two different sections we make the beat sound more cohesive and together without doing anything else. So this is what the melody from the beat drop sounds like. And now because the entire melody sounds a bit empty, I filled everything up with some drums. I gave the beat a bit more bounce by using a rim shot as a counter snare. I added more bounds by using open hats. And finally I came up with this kick pattern right here. So until there, nothing special, it's the simplest beat you have ever heard. Two step hi-hat, didn't even change the velocity. Clap, kick, open hat, rim shot is the simplest beat shop ever. But now comes the source. The fourth aspect of doing such kind of beats is the hard hitting 808 slash bass sound. Because you build up a lot of tension in the intro, the beat drop needs to be hard. And the best thing to do for a hard beat drop is a really dark 808. For that I went into my 808 sounds and I found this Traplord 
chatty 808 right here. It's the 808 from J Cactus. So shout out to J Cactus for giving us this 808. And because the beats drop itself was so simple, the 808 needs to be hard. Therefore, I use this kind of roads right here. Pretty simple. So the main part of this right here is just the build up and the sound selection. As you saw, nothing special. The beat job is as simple as possible, but everything together sounds really fire. If you got any value from this video right here, please like, comment and even subscribe so I can continue making this style of beats. This beat and all my other beats are in the link in the description down below. Check it out if you want. Follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with my beats and let's see each other in the next video guys. Bye.